Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season one, episode 11 of Dawson's Creek. This time the title of the episode is The Scare. And I am here, I'm ready for a new episode of Dawson's Creek. I kind of didn't like the fact that on the end of the episode, you're kind of questioning whether if Dawson does like Joey in a different way because he's like, no, you can't actually go out with her. Or you can't actually kiss her. Like... Like he owns her or something. So I wasn't so happy about that. And mostly I wasn't happy about that. Because like Pacey and Joey. Pacey and Joey have so much potential. And it will be far more interesting. To see the development of that relationship. Than with Dawson. Look I am here for my main ship to be. Any other person. But Dawson. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's too much for me sometimes, I don't know. Uh, but I'm excited, I wasn't expecting Pacey and Joey because they kind of hated each other. But those are the best ships, to be honest. So I am here for it, I am here for it. Um, anyways, we're gonna watch episode 11. Hopefully we also get a little bit more of Jen because we, you know, we see her having a difficult time and all of that. But everything is very much Dawson-centric and I know that the show is Dawson's Creek, but... You know, maybe we can, like, get to hear Jen a bit more as well. I will love that. Anyways, we're going to do episode 11. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Continue to support for more by giving it a thumbs up, a heart if you're on Patreon. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction, always posted first on Patreon. By the time you guys are watching this, whether if it's on YouTube or Facebook or wherever it is that you're watching, uh, I'm already done with season one. Maybe into season two on Patreon, so go and check it out. Uh, and also, the reason why it might be blurred out is because YouTube hates me, basically, <laughs> you know? And they don't want my reactions here. So, what I do is, like, I post the blur version here, blur version here, and the unblur version on Facebook. So, go and check it out. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 11 of Dawson's Creek. Here we go. But I figured in honor of Friday the 13th tomorrow, a little horror marathon was mandatory. It's tired, Dawson, just like these movies. I mean, you have this fascination with the dark side. You enjoy scaring people, in particular me. What about the adrenaline rush? Besides, the horror films provide positive... How annoying, right? Like, he's, like, like, annoying people. <laughs> Scaring people, you know, all around. I don't know, man. Sometimes I like Dawson, and sometimes I'm like, get out. <laughs> Dawson, you're not scaring me here. You're not. <laughs> Dawson. He totally is. Dawson, you're so predictable, I swear. Oh. You're just like your movie. <laughs> that kind of scared me. No, John, I think you're the one who's predictable. <laughs> I like them sometimes as friends and when I mean sometimes is because like I sometimes also like Dawson not all the time you know but I like them as friends look after one episode and one interaction between Joey and Paisy I am ready to go down with this ship okay so I'm not here for Dawson and, jo and Joey I am not here for that so, they can remain as good friends. I do not need to see anything else. It's Friday the 13th, and we got a serial killer within striking distance of Cape Side. You just gonna treat this like every other night? Yeah, I don't Come know. On. I mean, I have also, like, this fascination to watch docu-series about serial killers and things like that. Murders, you know. I, I For some reason, I, I, I like watching them. But, like, if there is a news that... Around the place that I live, there is a serial killer. Then you bet, best to believe that I wouldn't be so like catty about it. And like, oh, there's a serial killer. I'll be locked in my house until they trapped him. Oh, what are you talking about? Dawson's fun. <laughs> he is. He's probably the most the most original and imaginative date on the planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't that's think how you feel, so. How come you're not going out now? Because he's also annoying. <laughs> what about tonight? Uh, well, you could uh, say no. Yeah, why not? I mean, I, 
I guess my social life has been a little depleted lately, so... So what time? I'll pick you up a second. <gasps> oh my god! Oh. He doesn't stop doing these things, but like, he really is good. <laughs> he can, I have been scared all three times that he has done this. He says the victims are all young girls around your age, Joey. Listen, this killer really? apparently stalks his victims with letters and phone calls before he takes a knife to their throat and cuts out their heart. No oh way. my god. I'm not joking, the killer collects hearts, okay? They don't talk about it on the news because it's a little morbid, but it's true. It's sad. Okay. I mean, this the guy's really just looking for love. No, no, no! We're not about to romanticize a serial killer! No, 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 we're not about to do that. We are not about to do that. This is not romantic, this is not an interesting story, this is a dangerous, dangerous man. ay 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 I hit it. I hit myself. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be his defense when they find him. Yeah, exactly. No, no, it, it doesn't bother me. Mom, glad nobody's bothered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Thanks, Dawson. Thanks for giving me a break. Okay. That was sly. <laughs> you dog. Well, uh, what? Don't I get a scare? What do you mean? I mean, you scared Joey and Pacey. We're still friends, right? Yeah. I thought you were in Friends. Uh, you guys are very confusing. I just want to say that. But, so you're going to get upset because he didn't scare you? <laughs> Jen, you're so complicated. I love you, but you're so complicated. I need some advice. I'm, uh, I'm taking Jen out tonight. I kind of feel like this is my last shot and I really want to want to go for it. What do you think I should take her? Really? You know, I'm going to stay out of this. No, no, yeah. come on. Help me out. No, you don't need and to help me out. I want the evening to be incredible. All right, you know Jen. What is she like? I want they it to broke be up. imaginative and original. They broke up. Why are you asking him other than to piss him off? You are going to die tonight, Jen. No. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh god. god. No, that's that's what Joey and like Pacey and Dawson were talking. They're planning this, aren't they? Look, is this... No, please. Don't tell me that, that an actual serial killer is gonna target her. Look, you better grab the knife. If it's like that, you know? Hello? Hello. <gasps> Ay, no, Dios mío. Who is this? You tell me your name, and I'll tell you mine. Are you the famed lady killer? Are you waiting outside on the cellular to cut my heart out? Okay, you know what? We shouldn't be playing with this. This is scary. Yeah, free advice, all right? Find a better heart. Far closer than that. What? That's enough. All right. Why don't you search the house? Dawson, you didn't, you didn't sneak into the house, did you? Because cause you are lucky my Grams isn't here. Oh, you I shouldn't say that. Loser. Yeah, well, he's not, all right? Just a little out there, but in a good way. You know what? For me, this conversation will have ended, like... As soon as I heard, like, the weird voice, I'll be like, nope, hang up. <laughs> Who are you? Yes. Dawson! <laughs> oh, this is really scary, but I'm glad that she has that fucking knife. There. <sighs> the fuck? Yeah, I wouldn't roll down the wind. Hi. Hi. What's your name? The fuck Jelly? you want. Hi, Joey. I'm David. I'm a little lost. Oh, sorry. Was I staring? No, no. You were... It's just that you have yeah. the most intense eyes. And she's also like 50... The hell, this dude? Has anyone ever told you that? You know, my buddy is having a seance over at his house, and I was just wondering if you'd like to come along. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ursula! I'd love to. Get in the car, Ursula. Where are your wheels? Over there. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so fucked up! Oh, this is so fucked up, man. So anyway, so he called her and learned that she was going to be home alone that night. Now, she lived in a town where nobody locked their doors. No, oh, no. He disconnected her electricity, cut off her phone, walked right through the front door, up her stairs, into her bedroom while she was sleeping, and cut out her heart in one clean sweep. Oh... <laughs> He uses a long lacerating scalpel, so they think he might be a doctor. So. Okay, so, but the thing is, like, we shouldn't be joking. Like, actual people, like, actual girls have been dying because of this, you know? 
I think we're digging it a little too lightly. What? I have a scary story. What is this? That was a scary There's as well. This young kid, this boy, who goes to this convenience store and picks up this woman. She's wild, you know, a little crazy, but pretty. Wait, are you telling me that a serial killer is this woman? And what none of them know is that this woman is a little ill, you know, like in the head. The result of years of abuse. What? And that in her purse, she carries this great big knife. Because sometimes, just for fun, she likes to slice open throats and see how far the blood will spurt. <laughs> Should we lock her up? Oh! I don't like this. What the hell? This freaks me out. Awesome. This freaks you out? You just like convinced me that you're a serial killer or something. Oh! That wasn't me. I didn't do it. <gasps> it's almost about to get <laughs> Joey. Huh. <laughs> Fucking dozen, man. Cliff? Where is Cliff? Cliff. I wouldn't mind if he, if he dies, though. Ah. <gasps> God, you scared me. Oh. Sorry. Okay, there's nothing. So much for your theory. You're gonna. <sighs> See, what did I tell you? I I mean, Dawson has been doing this to me all day. First, first that note in my locker, the phone calls at my house. I, uh, I don't know it was him. Who else? The actual well, killer? What if Dawson had nothing to do with it? I mean, what if? <gasps> oh, dear me. There really is some psychopath following you around trying to kill you. Okay, how about we don't scare her like this, and maybe try to call the cops? Here, here, take this. I know that she wants you. And you have been scaring her all night, so it's obvious you want her. <laughs> I haven't scared her once tonight. I've been scaring Joey. Yeah, the brunette. Cute. Feisty. The two of you will work out. Yeah, no. no Jen's my ex-girlfriend, not Joey. Then there's your problem. You're dating the wrong girl. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, we don't want this. Look, you cannot give me a taste of, like, what could be perfection, and then you expect me to ship him with Joey. Yeah, that that's not how it works. That's not how it works. <laughs> Where's Joey? She went that way to look for you. You, you let her yourself. alone? Hey, Joey! Joey? Why in the world would you guys leave her alone? Oh, you're about to scare him. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god, Joey! No, no, no! Don't talk to me! Ah! Oh! Wait, we are trying to scare Dawson, right? Because you, you didn't just kill Joey. No. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> Jen, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't send you any notes. I didn't call you. Are you serious? He's been serious all along, I think. Oh, come on. Look. He pulls pranks on all of his friends, yes. Little ones, whatever you want. But, like, they pull a prank on him and now he's like, You guys, I was supposed to be the one with the pranks, not you. <laughs> so are you scared? I am peeing in my pants. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I may look young, but I have been with older women before. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh! Oh Jesus Christ. No, Pacey will not do that. Oh god. Is he? <gasps> he wasn't! No! 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 De oh yes! Defending the boyfriend! Oh yes! You go off! I love the joy. It's like, you bitch are not going to stand up again. You're the one. You're the one that called me this afternoon. And, and the notes. You're, you're the one that sent the notes. 
doesn't god told you. you to do this. Yeah. No, no, I came up with that all on my own. Yeah, you're it's pretty you're cool, e huh? No, no. Cliff, um Cliff, there's an actual serial killer trying to murder women like her. Why would you think that's a cute thing? Like why? <laughs> Maybe for a second you might even be sad if I tell Of course he will be sad. What are you talking about? Sorry, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you wouldn't be sad? Of course he would. He will be devastated. Are you kidding? God, I would be inconsolable. That yes, exactly. Because like Joey, if you died, God. He li he he like look, I know that this is going in a romantic thing, you know, but the thing is that he does care about her a lot. You know, so for her for her to be like, you know, uh oh you wouldn't care. No, of course that he would. Like, undeniable. I I just don't want you guys to hook up. <laughs> Authorities believe they have arrested the multiple murderer known as the Lady Killer, identified as David Blanchard. The suspect was found prowling a residential neighborhood in Cape Side. When officers inspected his car, they found evidence linking him with the murders that have terrorized the Eastern Seaboard. It was the past him! Months. We'll bring you more information on the Lady Killer arrest in our full report coming up. Bob? The, the hell? Holy fuck! Like, all this time they were joking about, like, the serial killer? And he was closer than you, than you thought. Oh my god. Thank god nothing happened to Joey. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season 1, episode 11 of Dawson's Creek. Honestly, I didn't thought they were gonna take it there, but it was a really, really good, scary episode. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have that. And honestly, when they were bringing up the entire subject of serial killers and things like that, I was a little bit like, wait, are they really going to do like a serial killer storyline? Are we in Riverdale now? <laughs> no, but thankfully, um, it was a very major threat that I thought they were not taking too seriously, you know, because let's be real also. They are teenagers, okay? So teenagers, teens are not you know, too careful, you know, with the things that they say or the way that they act or the dangers that sometimes they put themselves in. Uh, so they were taking it a bit lightly, you know? I mean, they were like, okay, he's in the, you know, in the area, but like, what are the chances that he comes here? And like, they were not paying too much attention to it. And I think that that type of denial will be like very much... Like, I don't think that they are the only ones who were not that scared that the, that the serial killer might have, you know, uh, killed them or, like, be around to, like, probably kill Joey or Jen, you know? Um, so the thing is that I was, I, I was really, I was really, like, scared for a minute because I was like, are they going there? But they weren't, and then when that creepy guy walks in, and like, you know, I was like, okay, that's creepy. But everything is, you know, they d did it very well because they get you distracted with everything that is happening. With the drama between Dawson and Jen, and Dawson and Joey, and Joey and Pacey, and this couple that have a very unhealthy relationship, and Cliff and Jen. So you have a lot of things going on that that one encounter, you might have, you know, I was like... Okay, but what happened with the the guy that was, you know, talking to Joey? What, like, what uh, ended up happening? Turns out he was the actual serial killer, which is extremely scary because Joey could have as well been the next target. Uh, but thankfully, you know, a, a lot of shit happened. She wasn't alone the entire time. So we can sleep, you know, and rest assured that nothing was gonna happen to her at least that night. But the threat was real because like if it wasn't Joey, it could have been Jen, it could have been another girl, you know, because apparently that guy has already killed five young ladies, you know, so that's very scary. And of course they I don't think that since they're teenagers, I don't think they were taking it too serious, especially Dawson and Pacey and Cliff, you know, because Cliff even even like joked about it, you know, with Jen, because he, like, Dawson was like, oh, she loves to get scared, so 
I'm just gonna scare you, not in the, oh, like, this is a spooky and, like, you know, I'm gonna come out of a, of, a, of a door or of a closet and I'm just, like, gonna scare you. No, I'm actually going to threaten your life type of scary, you know? Um, and he was the one sending the notes and he was the one who was terrorizing her over the phone. And, like, I'm like, Cliff, aren't you, can you be a little bit more sensitive, you know? Girls are actually dying. How how are you gonna scare her with that? You know, but I don't think he thought of the ramifications of or of how close this was to home. You know, because the killer was right there at Cape Side. You know, so it's it's very scary, uh, and it's very dumb from Cliff to do such a thing. But Grams is in love with him because, of course, the one thing that lo that Grandma loves is the one thing that Jennifer hates. Because they are that polar opposite, you know? Um, and th in this episode, Jen once again falls into this category of them doing things teenagers will do. She's like, one day I'm like, I don't want to be with you, Dawson. I don't think I want to be, be friends with you. And then the next day she's like, why aren't you scaring me if we are supposed to be friends? And like, you know, pay me attention as well, even though I don't want to be with you. You know, and she's being very complicated, which is, like, understandable for these teens, you know. So, it's fine, it's fine. I could handle it, you know. But this whole back and forth, um, it's kind of like, I want them to happen already. And I want them to have a real chance. Mostly because I don't want Dawson and Joy to happen. <laughs> or maybe, maybe needs to happen to get it out of her system, like I said on the previous episode. Because I just think that Pacey being there and the amazing chemistry that they two have, it just, it, it's just a screaming, like it has so much potential and it's a screaming like end game for me, you know? And I, I will be like, can it happen? You know, I, I I don't know. I think it will be so interesting. And I don't know. I, I do like their chemistry and their banter more than I like Joey and Dawson. Because, for instance, I love Joey and I love Pacey. I tolerate Dawson. There are moments where I really like Dawson. There are moments where I'm like, oh, dude, shut up. You know? So I wouldn't mind him with Jen. You know? Um, but the thing is that I like both Pacey and Joey in that, you know, in that, in that dynamic. So I want them together. <laughs> I don't know. I think it could be great. You know, I think it could be great. I think it could be great. And now I, ha I have the feeling that this season or probably next season is going to start or end this season or start next season with Joey and Dawson actually giving it a shot. But I hope that if they do, it's to, for them to realize that they are too good of, good of friends, that they need to remain friends, and that Joey has had this crush. Yes, but the reality is that Dawson is extremely boring. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's what I want. Uh, I did like uh, the conversations between... Joey and Pacey. I love that, you know, Pacey was in danger and Joey was like, I'm gonna hit this bitch in the head, you know? And then she was going at it. Because <laughs> she was like, until I don't see him passing out, I'm not gonna stop. And she was like, shut up, like, don't touch my boyfriend. It was so cute. It was so cute. And then, of course, the toxic couple is like, okay, you guys are weird. Like, we are having just a fight and, like, we're okay, you know? I was kind of like, um, I was kind of... It was kind of dumb, you know, but there are toxic relationships like that, you know. Um, but yeah, anyways, it was a really good episode. It was really good, really eventful. Uh, I did got scared, so Dawson did got me a few times. Um, so good for him. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was really fun. It was, it was a really fun episode. And like, I cannot wait for the next episode. Uh, because, like, we have two more episodes to go for season one. And I hope that I can finish them today. Like, after this, I have to go to the bank. I have to go uh, to have lunch. And then when I come back, 
I'm gonna do the next two episodes and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great uh, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe comment hit the notification bell You can go to patreon to watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more So in case you guys want to do that, like I said the links in the description down below Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. You guys are fantastic uh, and yeah, for now, I think that's all. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. And if you have any more comments, we can talk on the comment section down below. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah! Bye!